So how do we find the mass percent of magnesium, oxygen, and hydrogen in magnesium hydroxide, you ask? Well, you've come to the right place, my friend. First, we've got to find the total mass. Then we can find those percentages easy peasy. I've created a nice little table to help us out. Here we go. Bam. So the first step is we're going to write the elements we see in the compound. So we've got magnesium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Next is then we're going to write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So now if you don't see a subscript at the bottom of the element, just write in a 1. So there's 1 magnesium. Good. There's also one oxygen, but oxygen is part of the uh, polyatomic anion hydroxide, and you have two of them. So you actually have two oxygens. The shortcut is take the inner subscript there of oxygen and multiply it by the outer. All right. Same thing. Whoops. Same thing then for hydrogen. One times two is going to be two, so you get two hydrogens in total. Then you're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each particular element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So magnesium's mass is 24.31, hydrogen is 1.01, and oxygen is going to be 16. So let's write them in. So we got 24.31 for magnesium, oxygen was 16, and hydrogen was 1.01. Then we're going to find the total mass of each element of the compound. You can just simply multiply this row on a cross. So this for magnesium would be 24.31 units of mass. Oxygen there is going to be 32. And then hydrogen here is going to be 2.02. .02. So to find the total mass of the entire compound, all we got to simply do is now add up this column, right? So that's going to be 58, 58.33. And there it is. That's the first step of the process, finding the total mass of the compound. Now I'm going to add a column to the table to find the per mass percents. Take a look. Bam. So to find the mass percents now of each, we're going to take, uh, let's say for magnesium, we're going to take the total mass of magnesium. So we've got 24.31 units of mass and divide it by the total mass of the entire compound. Hence why we had to calculate that first. And then just simply multiply that by 100. It's a fraction, right? Part over whole times 100. So anytime you multiply basically a fractional value by 100, you convert it into a percent. So this is going to be 41.68%. And that's the value there for magnesium. Oxygen is going to be the same thing. Take the total here, 32, 32, over then 58.33. All right, multiply that by 100. And you're going to find a percentage here roughly, roughly 54.86. Now percent, I'm not really sure. It looks like 8C instead of 86, but you know. Then we're going to do the same thing for hydrogen now. So take the total of hydrogen, divide it by the total mass of the entire compound, right? By now, you're probably identifying patterns here, which is going to be great. And this is going to be 3.46%. You can also check yourself uh, just by adding these percentages up, and it should be very, very close to 100. Sometimes when you round the numbers, you might be off by a hundredth, but who cares? A hundredth? Hundredth? Said that weird. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Um, please check out our channel. We got thousands of videos out there, not only in chemistry, but physics. Physics. How do you say that? Physics? There we go. Physics. Hundrath. Physics. And chemistry and, well, you're viewing chemistry and uh, uh, mathematics. We got a whole bunch of other stuff coming out. All right. I've, uh, yeah, I think I, yeah, well, I'm on my, what is this? 37th video? Hmm. I think I should take a break. What do you think? We'll see you later.